Oh, top of the Friday to you. It is the last day of May. It is the 31st of May. Welcome to Day 9's Day Off, where today I'm going to be playing Anti Chamber, which is a game um, that I have played the first five minutes of. I saw it at the uh, Independent Games Festival when it was uh, here in LA. And um, other than that, I know nothing. But it looks exactly up my alley, so I'm very excited to hop into it. I can't wait. I mean, the thing to note, though, is that um, I have played the first five minutes of it. I have. So we're going to do a little bit of introductioning right here. So first, I'm just going to go over here, and I'm going to reset the game real fast. You might be like, oh, what the heck just went on? Every journey is a series of choices. The first is to begin the journey. So I can, like, click on things. Yeah. So here is the greatest menu of all time. This is so awesome. You know, if you want if you want to know a fancy word, the word is diegetic. Yes. Oh, it's so good. Love that diegesis. Let me actually Can we do this? There we go. Wait a minute. Oh, anti-chamber resolution window moved around. All right. It's time to do some Oh my god, did I just do that on accident? I just clicked so accurately. It's <gasps> All right, now let me just show you. Here's some tr tips and tricks. All right, you you can actually enable the console for any game and just reset the window sizing. So uh, I'm actually not using any of these screen resolutions, but look at this great menu. Mmm. I'm gonna do lower sensitivity. I do want sound and music. Um. Left mouse, interact, chamber only. Jump. This is walk. So I can run. And escape is return to antechamber. Hold to quit. Alright. Here's my time remaining. I'm not going to worry about this. And choose my destination. By the way, so, so diegetic. Diegetic is something happening within the world. So for instance, like if you're watching a movie and there's music playing and you can hear it, but the character in the movie can't, then that is not diegetic. But for instance, if the character like goes into a cafe and there's a dude playing the piano, that piano music is considered diegetic because it is within the story world. You are hearing it and the characters in the story are hearing it. So this is this is a menu that is not, it's not like abstracted out, it's actually implemented deep into the game. So that's, well it wants me to click there, so I'm gonna click here. Jump! Ah! See, I already knew you'd go down, so I looked straight down. Failing to succeed does not mean failing to progress. Okay. Now, I just want to know is the sound okay? Can you hear can you hear the birds alright? It's kind of a quiet game. Sounds good. Really cool visual style. Alright, click here. Click in there. Some paths are clearer than others. Alright. Going blue. This is a puzzle that I have solved already. I'm just kind of showing you the ropes. Oh! Uh? A choice may be as simple as going left or going right. You know, because I've done this, I'm just going to go into tutorial mode. So here's the thing. Look at this. I'm going to keep going into the blue one. Now, technologically speaking, I am deeply impressed with the programmers. <laughs> oh. This is the sort of thing that I just like... Uh! All right, here we go, here we go. Let's go down the left, let's go down the left one. And what happens if we go down in hallway red? Huh. The choice doesn't matter if the outcome is the same. 
So here's here is the here's the I was actually doing tech tests last night to make sure that you know everything was working properly. By the way, I like when you're in this hallway, you can see my face turn red. Look at this. Oh, oh. Because believe it or not, guys, monitors are producing light. <gasps> Someone else just puked. And right back to where we were before. So here is as far as I've ever gotten, I'm gonna show you. If you turn around, mm. when you return to where you have been, things aren't always as remembered. Ooh. Now, here's a little bit of technological pukery. Here it comes, here it comes. Oh. Oh! Oh! It was so cool! I turned so many times and it kept changing. This game! This game. Alright, so, uh, this is actually where I just hit the escape button and just stopped because, uh, everything was good. So this is as far as I've ever been. I assume that when I touch this, something will happen. Okay. Ooh. And if I touch this, will it shut? Think about it. Okay, can I go back through? Some choices leave us running around a lot without really getting anywhere. So I'm gonna hit escape. What the f- Oh! Oh, wait. Oh, it shows me all the things. If you don't like where you've ended up, try doing something else. So I can click on these things and Oh, these are all the little, uh, little glyphs I've seen. Okay. Okay, now I can change the resolution if I need to. Wow. Uh... Jump too far. So, because this thing is, like, spinning it- wait. Didn't this say jump last time? I feel like I'm in the movie Cube. Oh. oh wait, no I'm running. Let me hold shift and walk. Okay, what happens if I jump? Oh! <laughs> Technology! So this is where I was before. So does this just take me back to where I was before? Okay, it is. Ooh, I like that. Okay, so let me go here. Let's walk across. There's me, the fledgling baby day nine. <laughs> Taking the first step can be harder than the rest of the challenge. I bet I can go through this. God, I'm good! Oh, yeah! A dead end will only stop you if you don't try to move through it. Dude, can I just, I just, JP, JP, I just went through a dead end on my first try. And that's not because I'm some sort of genius, it's because I played Dark Souls, and there's a couple of hidden doorways, so I've just been rubbing up against walls like crazy, man. Fly. Alright. Gonna jump? Nope, didn't work. We fall down when there is nothing there to support us. That's, oh my god, that's so sweet. Okay. So 
So I'm sure these colors are gonna wind up meaning something. They're like great ways to mark things. It's kind of cool how minimalist the design is, and as a result, they can do simple things like just put a huge green circle there, and then I'm gonna remember green circle drop. With green bars. All right, if I touch this, what happens? Green to yellow. I'm gonna start keeping track of colors. The path of least resistance is a valid option. Wait, do you see that little bit of yellow there? What does it mean? Oh, spacebar jumps, that's right. Huh. See, I don't know if there's any pattern I'm supposed to be recognizing with this thing, but it sure is fun to look at. Okay. Wait. So, this, like, screens like this, be, like, literal, like, not like monitor screen, but like, screen to keep bugs out. Like, what is, what is this screen doing here? Alright, I'm just exploring right now. <laughs> it looks like he messed up his proposal to that motorcycle. Taking one path often means missing out on another. And you know, I am going to try to backtrack and see what goes down. Oh! Oh, 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 what the, <laughs> oh, kisses, kisses. What looks out of reach may only be a few steps away. Now, if I were like a fortune cookie, that's how I would react to basically having floated my way up here. But because I am not a fortune cookie, if I designed that, this would literally say, oh, what the fuck, what the, oh my god. It would just be a whole bunch of panels of me losing my mind. Oh! <laughs> what? Oh. God, look at this beautiful color design. I feel like this is inspired by paintball mode from the old GoldenEye 64 game. God, I, where's Kyla? Okay, I'm gonna come down here. Actually, how do I do this? Do I need to jump over this? What? Oh! Ha! Ah! Oh! Ah! Oh! God, where the fuck am I? Where you going? Where you going? Uh. Okay, I hit the escape button. I want to. Oh, wait. No, no, no. This isn't where I want to go. I want to go here. I want to come back. I want to keep exploring. So there's the other way, but I haven't gone down this path. It's a spiral staircase. Whoa, okay. We often fall into things when we least expect. Ain't that the truth. Can I keep going down here? Woo, 
baby. Fuck, fuck. All right, all right. We're not, we're not gonna do this yet. Where's my stairs? Oh, this game is so neat. This is just a neat game. All right, so I, I'm just gonna walk right into it. Since when is a wall a wall? Come on, you're kidding me. Small steps can take you great distances. Yes. Hope this is like Castlevania Symphony of the Night, where it turns everything upside down. Wait, there's the yellow thing again. Wait, why am I here? What? Wait a minute. What the fuck? Oh! <laughs> I'm in the movie Cube! This game design. Oh. Alright. So I think it's like, this is the way you're supposed to do it. Wait, wasn't this different before? Oh no, I, I fell through this hole last time. So I'm gonna check this thing out. This is... By the way, everything sa everything sound okay? Sound good? Too too high? Too soft? Other than the airplane? If you aren't paying attention, you'll miss everything around you. So right now, essentially what I'm doing is I'm exploring. I feel as though I've solved one puzzle in this entire game. If you aren't paying attention, you'll miss everything around you. So actually I'm going to go back to the start and go to this flashing thing, the butterfly effect. Oh, come on. Come on. Hmm. Ha ha ha. I'm going to do some weird things like go through this backwards. Alright, I'm just doing process of elimination stuff. You will miss everything around you. What does that mean? I don't know if it's trying to hint to me by having like a little bit of staircase way here. Let me try to go left. Try to go... I'm going to try to go right and then left. Looking through all the screens right now, trying to see if there's anything... There's a thing twirling there. Ladies and gentlemen, my chin. What does that say? Some challenges are far harder than they first appear. So I wonder if this implies that I have to do some really crazy kooky stuff like what I would always try to do in Portal. Well, I need to throw a portal straight down and then up into the air and then I need to do a double backflip and catch the box as I'm falling back through. What? Oh! Oh my god! Oh! Oh, I'm, 
pushing this. Oh, I'm pushing this shit. Oh, I'm pushing this shit so hard right now. Okay. So if I hit escape and go back, does it reset? Ooh, mountains. Okay, it does. And if I walk? I don't know. I don't know. God, I love puzzles like this. Oh god, I'm so happy right now. Um, okay, so I'm actually just going to wander around somewhere else. If you aren't paying attention, you'll miss everything around you. Now, this is a really mysterious room. I wonder if this is some sort of... It looks honestly like an emancipation grid. <laughs> so that's certainly significant. This is obviously the start to some kind of solution. And I can see a rotating thing in there. What if I push this from the other side? Okay, I don't know. I'm gonna go elsewhere because there's lots of places to explore. Go to the stop and go place. So, okay, I've been here. God, that's a pretty looking thing. Uh, a little bit. Wait. What was that? I jumped in. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Crap, crap, what the hell? Okay, I'm gonna try to use it to jump. actually get in through there. Huh. Wow. Wow. So this has to mean something. So if I chill here, this stays still, and when I move like that, it I move really fast. Oh my god. All right, okay. We're going to we're going to stop and I'm going to get some coffee because clearly I need my brain needs some time to 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 sink this this sort of stuff in. Uh overall impressions, I love it so much thus far. Um at the end of these segments, I'm going to do just like a one to two minute recap of what I think. Mm. But I... I love I love subtle clues like this. I love things like a completely sparse environment and this very simple signal. Right? And, I mean, th this, I think, is one of those brilliant things I've seen in the entire design of the game. Right? Where I turn around 
I go this way, and I might fiddle, and then I go, oh, well, what happens if I, what is this thing? Let me look down there, and then you start walking, and then automatically this happens. Which is just great, which is super cool. And then, of course, you, you, you know, you've already learned this whole jump, fall thing. So that's super, oh, wait. Oh, God, I, I, I still really feel like I can make this jump. Gosh, I don't know. Okay, um... But I especially love these bright colors, and the engineering behind this game, I think that, like, the graphical drawing is clearly very, very simple, but I think engineering-wise, this is... This is super, super difficult and clever, a lot of things they're doing. I especially love how, just how subtle it is, where it's like, stop and go, where I click. And the name of it is stop and go, so if it's like, stop and go, ah, I see. Very fortune cookie-like. I'm having a lot of fun. We come back. I'll be playing it more. 